Today, we will be walking through the main features and functions of your Super Air Veterinary Smart ICU cage. There are multiple configurations for the cage. However, these instructions will apply to any configuration with differences noted during demonstration. To begin, ensure that the power cord in the rear of the unit is plugged into wall power. You can secure the plug using a metal clip to prevent the plug being accidentally removed. Ensure that the circuit breaker on the side of the unit is flipped up to the on position. The back of the unit will have a male DISS line to connect your oxygen to the cage. Due to the wide variety of oxygen setups in clinics, it is recommended to speak to your oxygen supplier or a distribution partner about the best way to connect your oxygen to the cage. Condensation will naturally occur from the AC unit located on the back of the unit, and a drainage hose will need to be attached to direct the flow of moisture. Attach the drainage hose to the port on the side of the AC unit in back. Ensure that the hose is pointed downward to allow proper flow. Place a tray under the hose outlet or direct the hose to a drainage system in the floor. If your configuration includes a rolling cabinet drawer, ensure that the power cord on back is plugged into an outlet, either in a wall plug or into one of the plugs on the side of the ICU cage. You can turn on power to the rolling cabinet drawer by pressing the power button next to the front outlets. There is also an outlet inside the large cabinet to plug in an oxygen concentrator and a port in the back to feed your O2 line through. Once you are ready to begin using your ICU unit, press the power button next to the nebulizer ports. You will see the screen and the front of the unit turn on and activate. You will want to ensure that the oxygen reading on the unit is calibrated correctly. To do this, set the unit to external circulation on the touch panel. Leave the front doors open for approximately one minute and then verify that the oxygen concentration shows at approximately 21%. If your unit does not show an appropriate oxygen reading, a calibration of the sensor will be needed. The oxygen sensor should be calibrated anytime the unit is turned on or if the cage is in heavy use, at least between each patient. To calibrate the oxygen sensor, tap set at the top right of the screen and enter password 66. Watch the value in the upper left to ensure that it is stabilized with no major variations beyond a few numbers up or down. Press setup under in the air, then press save to the right of setup and tap return to return to the main menu. To begin oxygenation, Ensure the oxygen flow is open using the dial to the right of the touchscreen. Set the cage to internal circulation, then turn on your oxygen concentrator and adjust the flow. You can control all settings for the unit using the touchscreen at the top of the unit. Tap the temperature button to adjust the temperature in the unit. The humidity readout below this is just a reading of current humidity and cannot be changed. You can change the oxygen concentration in the unit by tapping the oxygen button and changing the concentration. The CO2 reading will display the current level of CO2 in the unit. If the CO2 reaches or exceeds 2000 parts per million, the unit will automatically switch to external circulation to allow for CO2 venting. The levels on the front of the unit are designed to be self-defined. Once pressed, a level will light up and can be changed by pressing any level in turn. After any level is touched, they will remain on until the unit is reset. Below these settings are controls for lighting in the unit. The unit can project white light, warm lights, or blue lights for therapy and wound healing. You can change the different types of light by clicking the bulb icons on the left. The setting box next to each light type will allow you to change the intensity of the light and the amount of time each light will automatically turn off. The white and warm lights can be set between 1 and 60 minutes, and the blue light can be set between 60 and 600 minutes. A nebulizer can be attached to the nebulizer ports and placed into the port on the cage door. Be sure that the nebulizer is not filled past the max fill line. To turn on the nebulizer, press the nebulizer button and set time for automatic shutoff below up to 60 minutes total. You can turn on a sanitizing or ion therapy mode following the same method. Both the sanitization and ion therapy modes are safe to use with patients inside the cage and can be set between 12 and 96 hours. 
In the case of a power outage, the unit has a built-in battery that will provide up to 30 minutes of continued operation. If your unit has dual chambers and a plastic divider, the divider can be removed to create a single space for a larger animal. To remove the divider, press the two buttons at the top of the divider and angle the divider away from the unit while pulling upward. Now you may remove the plastic divider and replace the divider. Place the two rods for the divider in the holes at the bottom and press forward until flush with the cage. Now, press up on the two spring-mounted rods at the top of the divider to lock it in place. When replacing the plastic divider, ensure that the flat end faces the back of the cage and that the rounded ends face the front. Finally, there are rotating panels on the front of each door. These can be turned clockwise or counterclockwise to allow for additional ventilation and insertion of additional lines or probes, or they can be opened fully to allow for handling of patients or food distribution. Routine maintenance, besides oxygen sensor calibration, consists of simply cleaning the unit. It is recommended to wipe down the ICU with alcohol-soaked gauze after each use. Avoid using any high-pressure water or flames. The sanitization feature will assist with disinfection and odor control in combination with routine cleaning.